Assalamu alaikum and uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, today, we are going to start our second class on CSE 103, that is Computer Fundamental uh, Theory course. And I'm, I'm requesting our today's convener to start the class. Sanjita, please. Uh, respected sir and my dear fellow friends, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all. I am Sanjit Akhtar. I am today's convener and I'm welcoming all of you to the CSC 103 class. Uh, now I would like to invite our today's reporter Ishra to summarize the previous class. Thanks Sanjita. Hello everyone. Uh, here is Ishra Tabadi. Now I am talking about our previous class in we have discussed. Uh, at first, we are introduced with this other, then uh, we about course outline, patient plan, and class construction method. After that, our teacher talked about course objectives and consultation hour, game wise lecture, and general rules of IUBAT. Then our teacher told us the importance of knowing the class lesson before joining the next class. It will help us to take a better preparation. After that, we are discussed about the role of convener, the class participant, and course leader. And we are enjoyed that day talking each other. Uh, now, as a reporter, I am done with. The brief. I uh, hope, guys, you will understand. That. Thank you. Sanjida, unmute your microphone. Thank you, Ishrat. Now, I would like to ask the participants do you have any questions regarding the previous lecture? Okay, I have one question, Sanjida. Is there anyone new in this class? Is there anyone new? No, here? sir. No, sir. Maybe Rezwana Tasneem. Rezwana, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So you missed the previous class, isn't it? No, sir. You were present? Yes, sir. All right, then all right. Carry on, carry on, Sanjita. Uh, do you have any questions regarding the previous class, anyone? Maybe not. They maybe they do not they do not have any questions. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, now I would like to request our honorable teacher to continue the class. Okay, thank you, Sanjida, and thank you, Israt. Okay, for a nice uh, presentation. I really appreciate that, and uh, it will be a very good example in front of others. Okay, those who are going to play role as convener and reporter by rotation from the next class. Thank you again, Sanjida and Israt. Now I'm going to start my session. So as I already uh, mentioned in our previous class, uh, today we are going to start our uh, course content. Okay. And we're going to start with uh, chapter number one. And uh, let me share my slide with you. Mm. Let me know whether you can see my slide or not on your screen. It might take a few seconds. Can you guys see my lecture slides? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let me open it in slideshow mode. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, chapter number one. Okay, uh, so can anyone tell me what is the title of this chapter? What is the title of this chapter? Can you guys see? Computer concept. Computer concept. Right. Very good. So computer concepts. So that means inside this chapter, we are going to learn about very basic or the very fundamental thing regarding computer. So let's start. So these are the chapter outcome 
that means inside this chapter you are going to learn about computer what is computer then uh, you are going to learn about hardware and software mainly inside the computer we have two parts one is hardware and another one is software so we are going to learn about the hardware example software example third point written here different types of computer nowadays we are using different types of computer like uh, desktop like uh, laptop tablet computer or server computer so we are going to learn about different types of computer so these are the first part of your chapter in the second part we are going to learn about different generations of computer mainly we have five computer generation first generation second generation third generation fourth and fifth generation we are going to learn about each of them one by one in the second part of this chapter okay so uh, let's start our today's uh, discussion so this is the definition of computer okay formal definition of computer but can anyone tell me from your common sense okay what is computer anyone how we can define computer or in general sense what does it mean computer can anyone define floor is open what is computer what is this term new to you sir a computer network is a telecommunications network so no i am not talking about computer network i am talking about simply computer what is computer just mention what is computer that's enough anyone uh, sir computer is some electronic device which receives process and share data uh, and we can use it in our daily basis life daily life every day actually in every sector okay very good thank you okay so <clears throat> so now here you can see that uh, a definition of computer computer is nothing but an electronic device okay and which is responsible to manipulate data or information so in a general sense we can say that computer is an electronic device and it basically perform three or four tasks you can mean you can say that it can receive data or it can collect data from different sources it can process those inputted data and at last it can give us some output okay and according to our need we can store those information inside the computer So is that clear to you? What is computer? Yes, sir. So uh, at the very beginning, this machine was nothing but a calculator. Okay, the main purpose of developing this computer was to calculate. Okay, uh, so do you have any idea which one is the first computer? Anyone know the name of the first computer? okay let me help you so the name of that computer was abacus okay abacus was the first computer and that can perform very basic level mathematical cal uh, mathematical calculation okay that's why i'm saying the main intention to develop the computer was to do mathematical operation to do calculation but nowadays by using computer we can perform number of tasks okay so but uh, still the uh, formal definition of computer is this is nothing but an electronic device which can take input process those inputted data and at last it can give us some output according to our need we can store or we can retrieve data from the database so am i clear to you what is computer any confusion anyone no sir okay again i'm again i'm telling first point this is nothing but electronic device second point it can take input third point it can process those inputted data then it can give us our output very good okay all right so here you can see one flow chart or you can say on diagram we can see here first what we are doing 
we are giving uh, means, at first what we are doing we are giving input then by using our computer processor we can process those inputted data and at last our computer can give us some output okay and according to our need we can store those information or those output inside the hard disk or the memory storage device so this is last part is not mandatory this is depends on you okay right so for an example in inside the computer if we give uh, two input like two numbers i'm giving first number is two and second number is again two this two number i am giving as input to my computer okay by using keyboard or by using mouse then uh, i'm giving instruction that you have to add these two numbers okay then your microprocessor or cpu central processing unit this one is responsible to add this two number as a human being you need not to do some calculation your computer automatically calculate these two numbers okay process those inputted data and at last it will give you some output as output it will give you four and by using your monitor or by using your projector you can see or you can view that output and according to your need if you want you can store those information or data inside this hard disk okay storage device so is this diagram clear to you any problem to understand anyone no sir okay all right so inside the, i mean when uh, okay when you appear in the examination and if i ask you question like that define computer okay on that time give the definition and it's better to give this diagram as well okay so yes. it will make a very good impression in front of the examiner okay if you give the diagram okay right okay all right so the definition of computer done now second point i would like to discuss that is general use of computer but at first i would like to know from your side uh, can anyone tell me in which purpose okay you use computer usually you use computer jubair can you tell me why you use computer perform the task which task perform which task you use computer anamul islam jubair jubair can you hear me my question is to perform which task usually you use computer sandeep can you tell me yes sir for various reasons we use computer like uh, i use computer uh, for uh, using uh, gmail or other uh, social networks hmm. then uh, then i use computer for gaming also i use computer for uh, listening songs okay okay thank you then hafiz yes sir why you use computer in which purpose you use computer mention one or two uh, i used computer for uh, knowing the uh, new world um, uh, by internet okay i i used uh, computer uh, for uh, uh, using internet better than uh, because uh, it uh, it is better than from mobile better than mobile and uh, i also used uh, a computer for gaming uh, moving moving uh, okay. sport, sportsing okay. uh, and uh, that's it sir okay thank you that means usually you use computer to surfing internet okay all right uh, and one point nowadays mobile phone also a computer isn't it nowadays we have smart mobile phone isn't it that is not yes. a computer again okay right israel can you tell me some reason why you use computer sir most of the time i use to watching movie and to gaming okay all right israel jahan we have two israel yes. hmm yes sir sir i used computer for gaming and movie and watching movie okay all right rezwana 
sir, I using computer for um, watching movie for gaming. All right. Okay. Thank you. Mahim? Sir, I usually use computer for doing my presentation, sending mm -hmm. email, mm -hmm. uh, web browsing, mm -hmm. and many types of uh, documents typing mm -hmm. and gaming. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, to manage or do the spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I and gaming yeah. also. Okay, okay. That's great. Uh, then Jubair, can you hear me? Jubair? Anamul Islam Jubair. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, you guys already mentioned uh, many general use of computer. Whatever the use you mentioned, these are the general use of computer okay but nobody uh, mentioned about online class okay to attend the online class nowadays you are using computer you should mention this one i expected this one from you guys okay all right uh, no problem so uh, let's see what they mention here typing documents that means when we need to type any document on that time we need computer we would like to compose any document we need computer uh, in the university level suppose if you want to submit any application on that time you have to make it computer compose handwritten document is not allowed so definitely you need computer okay then send email okay we can use we can uh, send or we can receive email to this computer then browse the web that means internet surfing we can visit different website by using computer Handle spreadsheet. A spreadsheet nothing but your Microsoft Office Excel. To manage your Excel file, we need computer. Accounting, okay, database management, presentation, computer games, okay, to play computer games, we need computer. So whatever the use they mention, all of them are general use of computer. There are some advanced use of computer even. Like think about a nuclear power plant. In nuclear power plant, we're using computer. Think about uh, rocket science. In rocket science, we are also using computer. But those use are basically what advanced use. Nowadays, we are talking about artificial intelligence. Okay, so those use are basically what advanced use. But generally, we use uh, computer mainly for these purposes. Okay, to serve these purposes. Okay, so I think you are clear about the general use of computer. All right. Uh, Next point I would like to discuss that is computer hardware and computer software. Okay, uh, so do you have any idea what is computer hardware? Anyone? Computer hardware means what? Or computer software means what? The hardware means uh, the physical structure which we get to see in any computer, like monitor, board, and in desktop CPU. All right, uh, thank you. Mouse. Okay, very good. Then uh, software, what about the software? What is software, anyone? What is computer software? At the settings or the instruction we input in the computer to do our tasks. Uh, that's called software like we use web browsing we use gaming mm -hmm. or sometimes calculation mm -hmm. the settings we made or the there is instruction which is given in the computer and the computer perform on the basis of that instruction mm -hmm. that instructions or settings as uh, uh, okay. hardware okay. So, software okay okay that's good very good thank you uh, so uh, Basically, we can compare this hardware and software uh, like that. Hardware basically what? Physical structure, okay? Like as a human being, we have a physical structure, isn't it? We have a body. We can compare this hardware with our body, okay? And software we can compare with our soul. You know what is soul, isn't it? We can compare yes. software with our soul. So soul, uh, no physical existence, isn't it? Okay, same way software do not have any physical existence. Okay, uh, but to operate the hardware, we need software. 
suppose without uh, we have everything we have our physical structure we have the body but without soul okay we can call that person a dead person isn't it that person will not be able to do anything so same way if we if you have hardware like very high configuration hardware okay but without software that hardware nothing but a junk okay that is the thing so we can say that hardware is the physical structure of the computer in computer we have two parts hardware and software so hardware is the physical part okay uh, like think about your computer monitor computer keyboard uh, mouse all kind of hardware that i mean those thing we can touch those thing we can feel okay that is called basically what hardware there is a funny definition of hardware that is uh, inside the computer component inside the computer system which component we can kick that is called kick kick okay that is called hardware okay that this is the funny definition of the computer but do not write down this definition inside your answer script you will not get any mark okay this is just for fun okay but the hardware means what physical structure of the computer on the other hand software basically nothing but some set of instruction inside the software basically we write down what some instruction how those hardware will work okay some set of instruction that tells the hardware what to do that is called nothing but software okay for an example we have i mean millions of software nowadays okay a web browser different types of games we have then calculator okay we are using uh, zoom zoom is one kind of software uh, we are using different types of uh, i mean video editing tools media tools okay we are watching movie by using some software okay we are composing our document by using microsoft office word this is nothing but software okay so in general sense we can say that hardware means physical structure of the computer and software means some set of instruction that tells the hardware what to do so am i clear to you what is hardware and what is software yes sir any confusion anyone if you have any confusion if you have any doubt you can interrupt me no problem okay ask your question okay ha huh. so any problem any question so far no sir no okay. problem okay uh, so uh, now uh, you can see one example so what is this do you know uh huh computer motherboard. computer motherboard great computer motherboard okay right okay so this is hardware or software hardware sir this hardware. is hardware great hardware this is nothing but hardware okay you can touch it and this one is software software okay so this is the interface this is the user interface of microsoft office word microsoft office word is nothing but what a software so this is this is a software very good okay so so far we discuss what is computer okay general use of computer then inside the computer mainly we have two parts one is hardware and another one is software software we learn about hardware some example we learn about software some example okay okay so next point i would like to discuss about different types of computer okay different types of computer all right okay uh, before we start this uh, section i would like to know mahin what type of computer you are using which computer you are using sir now i am not using any computer i am using my smartphone okay. ios right yes, okay then rezwana what you are using i am using smartphone sir smartphone okay israq israq uh, a bari ha sir i am also using smartphone smartphone again smartphone okay isra jahan sir i am using smartphone okay nakib i am using smartphone okay <clears throat> afis smartphone sir okay sanjida sir i am also using smartphone but usually i uh, i use a desktop computer okay all right jubair what you are using i am using smartphone sir okay all of you are smart all of you are using smartphone <laughs> but i am not i am not that much smart i am using a laptop okay for my lecture 
So you can understand some of you are talking about laptop, Sanjit is talking that she has a desktop. Okay, most of you are talking about, all of you are talking about smartphone. This is nothing but tablet computer. Okay. And uh, we're taking service from server computer. Okay, whatever the PC we have, all of all, all the PCs are called client PC. Okay, and we are taking service from the server PC, okay, server computer. So this uh, desktop computer, this laptop computer, your smartphone, the server computer. So we have different types of computer. Okay, you can understand. Now we are going to learn about them one by one. So the first one is desktop computer. And uh, I believe all of you are very familiar with this one. Uh, and you can see one picture here, uh, right side, in the right side of this slide, you can see one picture, yeah. desktop computer. Uh, okay, so let's start. Here we mention some features, some characteristics of this desktop computer, as well as we mention some advantages and some disadvantages of desktop computer. Okay. Uh, so, Sanjita, you mentioned you have desktop computer, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. So, can you mention one or two features of that desktop computer? In general, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, a monitor, a CPU, a keyboard, a mouse, a printer, or a scanner, mm -hmm. sound box. Okay. So, that means your desktop computer basically combines of this. Uh, components like you need desktop. Uh, I mean, you need a uh, mo computer monitor. You need keyboard. You need mouse. Okay. You need uh, casing. Inside the casing, we have number of component. Okay. Right. Okay. Very good. All right. So uh, first point they're mentioning. Usually we use this desktop computer at our workplace, uh, like school or office. Okay. Or library or at our home as well okay and second point they're mentioning the size of this uh, desktop computer small i mean you might get different variation small medium or large in style and they usually sit on a desk okay that is the thing so the name is desktop computer we have to place this computer we have to put or we have to keep this computer on a desk okay disk okay or desk okay that is that's why this is called actually what desktop computer okay so third point they're mentioning once you add a monitor a mouse and keyboard you have what is typically known as a desktop computer okay you can see here let me uh, mark it we have one uh, computer monitor we have here one uh, what computer mouse we have here one computer keyboard okay and we have computer casing okay sometimes we call it cpu i don't know why people call it cpu okay inside this casing we have a small device that is called central processing unit okay mm. but the full thing is actually what casing inside this casing we have number of components like our cpu like you have motherboard you have hard disk you have a cd rom dvd rom okay many other things ram okay right this is a box inside the box we have this thing okay so uh these are the things we have inside our desktop okay right okay then uh what is the main advantage of this desktop computer so here they are mentioning the advantage of the desktop computer uh this point you can see what is written here mahin what's what is written here Sorry, it's written here, easy to upgrade and expand or add new parts. What does it mean? What do you understand uh, by this point? That we can easily add some more features or co content like we can a add any scanner, any printer, sound box, anything in it. It will expand and easy to upgrade. We, we can uh, upgrade the hardware, the RAM, uh, the, sorry, sir. Maybe hard disk. Mm -hmm. No, you are right. You are, you are right. Huh. Carry on. Carry on. Uh, sir. That's it. That's it, sir. Okay. All right. So yeah, uh, she's correct. Very correct. Okay. So we can upgrade 
our hardware like suppose uh, now you are using 2 gb ram okay but uh, you would like to do some uh, graphical work okay you would like to play high resolution uh, computer game on that time you need to upgrade your ram okay you need to add some graphics cards okay suppose now i have 2 gb ram i can upgrade it 4 gb 8 gb isn't it okay or uh, suppose uh, in my computer i i have only 1 gb built in graphics card okay to uh, to play a specific game high resolution game i need 4 gb graphics card for an example okay i can add 4 gb graphics card as well i can add tv card i can add sound card okay according to my need i can expand my computer system i can upgrade my uh, cpu i can upgrade my motherboard i can uh, add more space in my hard disk okay so this type of thing we can perform so according to our need we can upgrade our computer i upgrade our desktop computer so this is the main advantage of this desktop the next point they are mentioning here desktop computer price is low so if you compare this desktop computer with a uh, a laptop computer on that time uh, you will get less price okay here next of computer okay that means this one is economical more economical right and the last point they are mentioning some desktop computers have a built-in monitor to save space so here you can see this casing and this uh, monitor is separate okay but we have some pc where you will get both of them together okay to save the space these are open called all in one desktop computer all in one desktop computer especially think about the apple computer okay apple they have this feature uh, you will not get any separate uh, cpu nowadays okay right uh, now uh, let me uh, show you uh, an example here okay so okay here here is the picture given okay this is the picture of desktop computer all right that's okay so uh, now is that clear to you what is desktop computer yes sir any problem anyone to understand any point again i'm saying if you have any problem you can interrupt me no sir if you want to know uh, something more you can also add okay that's all right okay all right so desktop computer done now i would like to move the next one that is laptop computer so now what is laptop computer is there anyone have laptop computer yes sir okay isra uh, can you tell me about the laptop what is laptop how it look like what do you know about laptop tell us something as you have laptop some basic features can you mention isra Okay, all right. Anyone? Come Hmm. Carry on. Uh, so, laptop is a comp uh, computer that we have uh, PC, the keyboard, the mouse, and the other things uh, together. Hmm. They are they are not separate. They are all in together. Okay. On very good. Very good. Okay. This is the main characteristics, right? Okay. But my boys, Jubair, uh, Hafiz, and Nakib, okay, you guys are not talking, okay? This class become female dominated, okay? You guys should talk, okay? Why you are hiding yourself? Okay. Speak out, please, uh, and participate in the uh, class. So right, uh, Sanjita is very right. So Sanjita basically mentioned that uh, everything is, I mean, integrated together. Okay, right, integrated, right? So uh, first point they're mentioning here: laptops and battery. Laptops are battery or AC powered personal computer. That means here we have okay battery powered computer. Okay, what happened? Desktop computer. What they do? They basically 
take the power from the wall socket isn't it desktop computer take the power take the electricity from the wall socket okay uh, but here the laptop computer it has the it, it it has advantage that we have battery okay we just need to recharge the battery okay right uh, that's why because of this battery uh, this laptop is more portable than desktop computer second point more portable than desktop computer we can move this uh, i mean uh, this uh, laptop from one place to another place but desktop we cannot isn't it okay more portable okay then third point may not be able to upgrade they are basically mentioning one limitation may not be able to upgrade them as easily as a desktop computer isn't it if you want you cannot change your uh, keyboard you can change your keyboard but it will cost more very huge amount of money you have to give you cannot change the cpu okay if your motherboard do not support okay then uh, you will not able to change the cpu okay so there are some limitation here okay you can upgrade your ram definitely in a uh, laptop you can also up some uh, some hardware you can upgrade like ram you, you can upgrade okay but still it has some limitation for the upgrade upgradation right and the last point they are mentioning here it's usually possible to add more ram or a large hard drive okay that is the thing so uh, basically uh, from the name you can understand the main characteristics of this computer laptop okay laptop we should we have to uh, place this computer on our lap okay lap means that in bank in bank bangla we can call it coal okay that is the thing right okay we, we basically uh, usually we use this laptop by placing on our lap okay that is the thing that's why the, the name of the computer is laptop okay right okay uh so do you have any confusion regarding this laptop no sir and here you can see uh, one picture in the right side you can see the picture isn't it okay laptop picture and if we analyze this picture here we have a uh, screen okay your monitor okay we do not have any separate casing okay uh, basically whatever the device we need okay whatever the hardware we need motherboard hard disk and other uh, sensitive component like ram then uh, other things everything we have okay under this keyboard okay so this is the keyboard and we do not have any separate mouse okay here is the touch pad okay by using this touch pad we can, sorry we can perform the task of mouse okay right uh, and uh, in this side you will get number of slot okay you will get number of port okay audio port okay then vga port then hdmi port then laptop charger port usb port okay this side and this side you will get number of ports so do you have any confusion <coughs> regarding no. this laptop no sir okay now the next question i would like to ask you and this question is very important for your examination uh, distinguish in between laptop and desktop computer okay i would like to say that please keep one pen and paper with you always when you attend the class okay so that you can take some note okay the question i am asking what is the main difference in between laptop and desktop computer can anyone tell me one example one difference in between laptop and desktop anyone yes sir Ah, please, no okay. Sir, all, all in one and separate, sir. Desktop is that means all the uh, you are, you are, you are separate. telling that inside the laptop, everything is integrated together, yes, sir. isn't it? Okay. Yes, sir. On the other hand, uh, desktop, desktop, they are separated. Yes, sir. They are separated. Right. Very good. Okay. Then another another uh, difference. Can you mention? Sir, desktop is not much portable. Actually, it's not portable at all. But uh, laptop is very much portable. We can carry it everywhere. And yeah, desktop good. is only uh, electricity or AC powered. Mm -hmm. But we can use the laptop in battery power also. That's why it is more convenient for us to carry it everywhere. Yeah, 
okay very good that means desktop is not that much portable okay you mentioned portable uh, i mean not at all but uh, right okay we need wall socket okay to give the power so that's yes, why it sir. is not portable on the other hand laptop is portable any difference any any other difference do we have in between these two sir desktop uh, desktop means who is uh, who is we upgrade uh, who is is uh, upgrade uh, easily but laptop uh, who is we cannot upgrade easily uh, as a desktop very good habis so uh, another important point is desktop we can easily upgrade but laptop is tough to upgrade okay that is the thing. we can upgrade but uh, you have to face a number of hassle okay to upgrade laptop okay. any other difference sir if we think about the price range there is very also good. difference okay. very good so sir, uh, laptop post uh, march okay that is good डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन लैपटॉप और डेस्कटॉप कम्प्यूटर टू यू Yes. What sir. type of question you might get in the examination? All right. All right. Uh, so done. Now, the next point I would like to discuss: uh, server computer. Okay. Can you see the picture of the server computer? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. What do you What do you think? Is it computer, or is it look like some cell for rack? <laughs> Hmm? They look like some cell for rack. Right. Okay. But this is not cell for rack. This is actually it's a huge yeah. computer, isn't it? Which has huge storage device. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, uh, can anyone tell me about the server computer if you have some idea? This is a little bit advanced. Sir, it's a uh, regular desktop desktop computer. Ah, uh, yes. It's a regular desktop computer. But what is the difference? Okay, what is the main difference? But it can be much larger. Larger in size. Okay, I mean in yes, space. Yes, sir. I mean in space. Size means okay. Physical size also large. We can see here. Okay, right. Okay. So uh, we have mainly. I mean, according to I mean uh, use. Okay, according to providing service or taking service, we have two computer. One is. server computer and the one is client computer okay. server computer and client computer okay so server computer means which computer basically serve client computer which computer basically yes. serve other computer okay that is called server computer on the other hand which computer takes service from server that is called client computer, computer. isn't it okay right okay so uh, for an example all of uh, all of you have uh, uh, what should i say okay facebook account isn't it yes is there anyone without yes, facebook i'm yes, social sir. guy no one all of you are social no, guys sir. okay uh, so so uh, facebook okay so when basically uh, we access this facebook from our home pc okay so home pc nothing but your client or server home pc your mobile phone your desktop your laptop client what is this? Client, client computer right yeah. these are actually what client, client computer, computer. Mm -hmm. you are sending request to facebook that i need my home page okay isn't it okay yes. Yes, and sir. then facebook they have their computer they have their large database okay so uh, facebook basically reply on the basis of your requirement okay if yes. you ask for your home page they are going to send you your home page so facebook computer is what server computer but your home pc your home computer is actually what nothing but client computer computer i guess you are clear isn't it yes sir okay. sometimes we use uh, many times okay we use what our uh, gmail account 
isn't it? Gmail account. Okay. okay. We are we are basically requesting from our home computer that I would like to access my Gmail account. Okay. Gmail, yes. they have their server. They have their server computer. Okay. When you ask for your login or home page or inbox on the basis of your requirement, they basically give your they basically fulfill your requirement. They basically give you service. Is that clear to you? So Gmail computer that is called server computer. We have different types of server computer. We have different types of server computer. Like we have mail server. Mail server means actually what? That basically give us email facility. Okay. We have application server. Sometimes we play online games, isn't it? Sometimes we access online uh, applications. Okay. Those basically store inside the uh, application server. Then we have uh, web server. Web server means actually what? Whatever the web pages we have, we basically store these web pages inside that server. Okay, that is the thing. Okay. Uh, so in this way, we have we have movie server, isn't it? Many of you know about the movie server from where we can download the movie, isn't it? Okay. So we have different types of server computer. Okay. So let's see. So server computer serves up information to other computers on a network. Okay. If you want to, if you want to take service from the server computer, you have to connect with a network. You need internet connection. Without internet connection, is it possible to access Facebook? Anyone? Anyone? No. Back? No, sir. Is there any scientist? Is there any hacker? Okay. Who can <laughs> use the Facebook without, uh, I mean, having internet connection? No, sir. Right. No, sir. Okay. So you have to connect with a network. Okay. If you are not connected with Facebook server through the network, through the internet, you will not be able to send requests to the Facebook server computer. Yes. Sir. Then uh, it's look like a regular desktop computer, as you guys already mentioned, or it can be much larger. Okay. Like in our IBAT. In IUB2, we have uh, three or four server computer. Okay, uh, there is an automation room in the fourth floor. Okay, so there is an automation room, uh, and inside the automation room, we have two server. Okay, and if I show you the server on that time, you will say that sir, this is look like desktop computer. Okay, so it's basically look like desktop computer, but what is the main difference uh, in server computer? We have a huge space. Usually, what happened in our computer? We have uh, 500 GB, we have one tera, we have two tera, but in server computer, we have very huge space. Okay. As well as server computer, it has a very, I mean, uh, advanced microprocessor, advanced microprocessor, which can process large amount of data within a very short time. Am I clear to you? Yes, sir. In a very short time, it can handle number of requests. Like think about Facebook. In a second, how many requests people are sending to the Facebook computer? Maybe million, maybe couple of million, isn't it? Okay. Yes, sir. So, and all of us getting real time service, isn't it? Okay. So they need a very powerful microprocessor. Okay. And as uh, the, that microprocessor run very faster rate, so easily. Uh, it became hot. Okay, that's why we need a very sophisticated cooling system. We need a very sophisticated cooling system. That's why if you enter into the server room on that time, you will get AC facility. AC facility. And even if you uh, you can saw some documentary on Google. Google uh, they have their server computer, and there is a documentary. You can go to YouTube and you can search it. Uh, inside the documentary, you can see that uh, they are using water. Okay, they are using some other cooling system uh, to adjust the, adjust the heat of their server computer. Okay, right. And another thing, you have to open your server computer 24 by 7. 24 by 7 means actually what? A one day, sir. One day and week. 24 by 7 24. means all the time. Okay. Yeah. All the time, isn't it? You cannot shut down your server. Think about Facebook server. Okay, is there a time limitation like uh, in a daytime only we can access Facebook, in the nighttime we cannot? Is there any restriction? No, no, no that no, means sir. this Facebook server computer always live. 
isn't it? Also right. Yes, sir. And uh, like they mentioned the last point in the uh, web server. Okay, we can store web pages. Okay, uh, like uh, we are we are basically using our home page. Okay, we are accessing home page. But where this uh, home page basically stored? It basically stored inside a web server, isn't it? Facebook web server. Okay, that is. So this is the, I mean, general concept of server computer. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, please. Any so question? I, yeah. So I want to give a reminder that we have only five minutes left for your class. Okay, okay. Thank you, Sanjita. Any questions so far? Anyone? Okay, I think no. no. Okay, all right. Okay. Think about a banking system. Okay, banking. Nowadays, we are using ATM, we are using Visa card, we are using MasterCard. Okay, we are using mobile banking. But mobile, I mean, uh, bank, they have their own server. Okay, by using that server computer, they are basically managing everything. Okay, right. Or you can say, uh, this is the distributed environment. Okay, in distributed environment, we need this server computer. Okay. And last one is tablet computer. Okay, so uh, in tablet computer, you will not get any uh, separate keyboard. Is there any separate keyboard here? No, sir. Is no, there any sir. separate mouse here? No, no sir. And how we're going to give input? So this this is touch and city screen. Okay, all right, all right. You got the point. So uh, by using this touch sensitive screen, by using this, touch sensitive screen we can uh, just a minute we can give input isn't it just a minute All right. okay uh, so uh, okay for an example ipad okay nowadays we are using smartphone isn't it okay yes. smartphone okay. smartphone is also one kind of computer Okay, that is the thing. Suppose uh, this is my smartphone. Okay, and this is smartphone. It has, I mean, uh, its own RAM. It has a uh, microprocessor. It has ROM, that means hard disk. Okay, whatever the things I need. Okay, as a computer, everything we have inside this uh, smartphone. So this is basically nothing but actually what a computer. All right. So this is an example of tablet computer. Am I clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So uh, I think that's all about our today's class. Okay, let me summarize the whole thing. Uh, at first we discuss about the computer. What is computer? Then we discuss about what? Laptop. No, no, no. Then we discuss about computer. general use of computer, right? Okay, okay. Then we, we discuss about two parts of computer. One is hardware, and the one is software. Okay. As well as we learn about their example. And at last we learn four types of Computer. computer okay yes, desktop mm. laptop then server, server and then tablet tablet computers 